Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training, with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. which is in the double quotes in the bracket. Then we have the name of the class and then we have dot operation. Okay. So you take any object over here, any statement, it is in the same format. Okay. And after operation, this Priya and then this code, this 1212, this London, Frankfurt, okay. 3, Priya again. So what are all these? These are data values. Okay. Then each class is prefixed with the type of application. Currently we are using the Windows application. That is why it is Win class. If it was a web application, then it would have been the web. Okay. And before that, this dialog login flight reservation this is nothing but the parent okay so you take any statement over here it is in the same format we have the parent dot then win because this is windows application type of class and then we have the name of the object and then we have the type of operation and then we have the data value okay so you take any statement, it is identified like this. Now, we had given a definition or we had made a statement that any customized object that you consider, the customized object belongs to which class? It belongs to object class. Okay. So here, among all these, which is that object, you know, which is, having the class name as object can you identify for which object the class name is object yes exactly if you look at the date of flight over here you see that the class name is object by this we can easily understand that date of flight is a customized object okay do you find any other customized object here in this entire list okay it means that this is the only customized object that we have okay this is how you know basically you can identify which of the object is the customized object rather than taking the application and you know trying to make the wild guesses okay fine okay now I think some of you had some more questions over here Okay, why I have this two times? Basically, that is how, you know, your QTP has recorded, but only this much also is sufficient. Like I said, you system util dot run, and then if you give the statement, that is sufficient. Your QTP has recorded both of them, no problem. Okay, and then mic tab. Mic tab is nothing but, this is a tab key from my keyboard. Okay, this is nothing but the tab key that I pressed from my keyboard, which has got recorded. Clear everybody? Yes Angelina, even these window, this dialogue, everything are objects. Okay.
Is it clear, everybody? Okay. No, Lavanya, you need not type the system util.run always because you are using the trial version on your computer and all of you have, you know, different type of operating system. That is one reason, you know, why it is not getting recorded on your computer. Otherwise, if you take my system, I have 9.2. And the operating system that I'm using, it is Windows XP. Both are highly compatible. And this is a licensed version. Okay. That is the reason it is easily getting recorded for me. Okay. But when you go to the project, you will be having, you know, the suitable system and then the licensed version of a software. So you can record it directly. You need not write it. Um, okay. Prima has a question. Customized object always has a type operation, not required Prima. Whatever your developer has defined, it will take up that type of operation. Okay. Is it clear everybody? What is customized object and then what is the standard object and how do you identify here? Okay. Is it clear? Customized object will be created by the developer. Okay, Rupa, we will come to the VB scripting, okay? The script that you can see here, basically it is nothing but the VB only, the visual basic code, okay? But more on the visual basic code, we will be discussing in our future classes. Okay, is it clear everybody? Any doubts? Okay, why does radio button not have a data value? Okay, Angelina, tell me what kind of value can it have? If you take a radio button, is it possible, you know, that you can set some value? See, if it is a text box, you can set a value, okay? If it is a combo box, you can set a value. If it is a radio button, what value can you set? How do you set the value? I mean, can I, you know, give some, no, you cannot, click is not a value, okay, click is a type of operation, okay, here after dot, whatever we have, this set, click, this is not the data value, it is the type of operation that we are performing, how can a click become a value, it is a type of operation, okay, values are these, Priya, 3, Frankfurt, London, 1212, and this again Priya over here, this one, these are data values, okay? This type, select, click, these are nothing but these are called as operations, okay? So here we have the radio button which we are going to do the set operation over here. We are going to set it as on and off. Set means it is going to set it as on, okay? We will be doing Raji. The VB scripting is there but in the future. Is it clear everybody? Any more questions? Okay, if I have missed any questions, uh, you can please type it again. Okay, uh, Prima, the edit class, okay? Yes, see edit class, you know, it can take the set or type operation. Type means what? You are going to type some value from the keyboard. Set means you are going to, you know, like set it to some value, right? That is the type of operation which is already defined. And as a tester, you cannot do any modification over here. You can neither change the type of operation, okay? You cannot change any property over here. For example, okay, yesterday I gave you an example like all of us belong to a common class that is human being. Can I change the property of the human being? Now the human being has a two legs, okay, we got to accept it. That is how it is created, you know. Can we, uh, you know, change and make it like four legs? It is not possible. Properties are not going to change, okay. The developer can not also change the property. If he tries to change the property, then he has to create a new object, okay. He cannot make any uh, changes in the existing properties of the standard object. 
if it is a text box the properties are going to be remaining the same they do not change okay you can't change the properties of any standard object like that can we record for web application which is not static yes manisha we will be doing it in the future okay i will show you how to record the web application also okay this much is clear everybody the objects and then the different types of objects okay next the next thing is okay well ritu that is a decision of a you know developer why he has created customized object it is left to him he feels you know it is more suitable to consider this kind of date of flight to be entered okay that is why he has created it i mean we are not here to you know basically question why the developer has created like that why didn't he create in this way no we are not going to you know question what he is going to do like that right we got to only verify whether it is working or not that is the job of a qa okay we cannot you know go to a developer and then say him okay this is not the way how you program this is not the way how you do no we are not you know like going to question like that it is his job and you know he has done something over here we try to identify what he has done and we cross verify whether it is working or not that's it okay is it clear everybody okay then so now these uh, objects okay another thing we will have a look at do you see there is a code over here okay this is an encrypted code for the mercury right now what you do is look at this code okay it is for mercury and you got to do the encoding from um okay you take priya as a word okay you got to encode it like this can you do it see currently the code that you can see here on my screen okay we know that this is for what mercury right we had typed here in the password as mercury now in case i want to you know type priya what is the code yes can anybody do this i want you to come up with an encrypted code for priya below you are able to see for mercury right this is a code for mercury 501 ab 89951 okay efd 3b this is the code or the encrypted code for the mercury okay i want the similar encryption for this priya can you do it anybody yes angelina then tell me what is the code for priya okay ritu uh, how did you arrive at that code we can do it okay but we cannot do it manually qtp has provided a tool for us okay if i go to the programs qtp do you see here we have the tools okay and in the tools we have something called as the password encoder over here do you see there is a password encoder okay now if i enter priya here and then click on generate you will be able to see the encoded string can you see okay if you are able to enter the password here and then click on generate it will generate the encoded string i can enter anything okay if i want i can type in ritu also and then click on generate it will automatically generate okay let's say i will write it as ritu 123 generate it will generate then ritu 123 i will give star 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 click on generate it will generate the password 
then you got to click on copy here come to the QTP here and then right click paste it do you see it has got pasted so you need not do it manually you have the tool over here if you want you can encode it using the tool and then paste it here wherever it is required in this code okay okay Prakruti, the use of it is let's say you know you are doing the recording you have missed a step okay you want to write the step in that case you have to write the step manually just because you have missed one step you cannot start recording right from the beginning so what you got to do you got to simply type in this line over here and that time you can use this kind of code okay well QTP has provided it you know you can use it if you want okay so P to access the tools you got to go to start then we have the programs QTP then here we have the tools password and code So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you're interested in a demo program, please register on our homepage on the left hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-1269. 17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.